Hi, so in this video we're going to talk about um, a few MPV player scripts that I wrote, specifically ones called uh, copy subtitle, copy timestamp, and copy file name, which, like the name suggests, uh, allow you to copy uh, those things, the sub current subtitle line, current uh, timestamp, and uh, uh, the name of the currently playing file, uh, to the system clipboard and then you can paste it wherever <clears throat> wherever you want to. So um, that's uh, the scripts that we're gonna cover in this video. Uh, so here's the repo where I have all of my MPV scripts. So let's uh, open the pages for these scripts. So let's go in this order subtitle, um, subtitle, timestamp, and then file name. Um, so one thing that I will, like one general point that I will uh, mention before I get into the specifics about these scripts is that they have one dependency that you need to install for them to work. Basically, they need uh, some sort of um, clipboard utility, like some sort of command line utility that can uh, copy the text to the system clipboard. So, um, um, the main system that I'm kind of uh, that I made these scripts for is uh, pretty much any Linux uh, uh, based system uh, where you can install Xclip from your uh, system's uh, package manager and uh, that will do the trick. So Xclip is the default command that is already set uh, to this value. Uh, with these specific options that will allow uh, the text uh, to be copied to the clipboard once xclip once uh, xclip is installed um, there is also like some uh, more things uh, mentioned here in uh, on each of these uh, uh, individual in each of these uh, individual script readmes uh, this, the information as I believe it's the same for all three of them. Yeah, it's the same. And, and uh, basically, um, just to briefly go over it, uh, for Linux, you don't really need to do much other than you need to install uh, Xclip for your, uh, from your distributions package manager. For example, on Debian, would, you would run sudo apt install Xclip, and that would do the trick. Um, on macOS, there is a built-in utility called pbcopy that you can set uh, this option, this clipboard command option too, and that will uh, uh, that should work uh, for for this purpose. So um, check out the previous video if you you don't know how to set options um, uh, for uh, for MPV player scripts. I cover it there. Basically, you can set it either on the on command line or in the config file. Uh, so in, in this case, you, it's probably something that you want to have permanent. So you should like create a config file and put uh, the name of your uh, clipboard command there, and uh, that will work. Now for Windows, unfortunately, I, w I wish I could provide some support for Windows users as well here, but I don't run Windows at all, and I haven't used it for many many years. Um, I have tried before to implement a solution. Uh, for this like over here there's a link here to a previous commit in this repo where I have like uh, this code that uh, that kind of works uh, for for Windows as well so but uh, unfortunately I don't know exactly how to implement it so that it works in all cases like there's a there's been an issue open in this opened in this repo where um, someone said that like when they copy Japanese subtitles it just copies question marks and like um, we haven't been able to just like figure out what to do um, to fix that so basically if you know something about how to fix this issue please feel free to contribute to this discussion over here and I'd be happy to, uh, you know, like if we figure out how to do it, basically I'd be happy to uh, implement that code 
there or if you you know uh, how to uh, write Lua scripts yourself uh, MPV player scripts then you could also do it and you can just share the code and then we'll um, we'll uh, get it set up so that uh, Windows is also supported or we could just uh, put some instructions on how to modify the script so that you can uh, make it run on Windows or something like that but basically at this point uh, you could try modifying the script uh, by analogy with um, with this previous uh, version of this same script um, so something like this but then there is this issue with uh, like uh, Japanese characters for example and uh, and yeah like I'm not entirely sure how to solve it uh, it might be some something related to the current locale as it is set so like it, the encoding has to be UTF-8 but like I don't know how to set it on Windows um, uh, so so yeah that's the state of affairs for uh, for that at the moment so um, like about the the locale for example like on linux uh, here uh, you can see that i set the lang uh, environment variable to this value there's probably something like that for windows as well but i don't know what it is so if anyone has uh, has any thoughts on this i'll be happy to hear from you just like go ahead and uh, comment in that thread and we'll see what we can do about that uh, so okay that's dependencies um, now, okay, now let's take a look at what the actual scripts do. Um, now, the, if, you ha if you've watched um, my previous videos about MPV player, which I mentioned in the introduction video about this version, like uh, basically the previous videos in this playlist that I'm about to put together, there's like there's these two videos that I made earlier, but they are on a different channel called Linguistic Mind, which is it's my channel about language learning. You can check it out. And, but basically, I'll add the videos that I'm recording right now to this playlist as well. So this is gonna be this video is gonna be number four, and uh, in the video number three, I uh, I have gone over the like the option setting and like remapping key bindings and everything. But um, uh, in one of these previous videos, uh, I already had like uh, I already talked about this version of copy subtitle, uh, the copy subtitle script. But it, it was uh, limited uh, in that it could only copy the text of the primary subtitle track. So you can have like two subtitles running at the same time if you want to. And I added that in. And someone actually asked me about this uh, in comments on this video and so uh, I finally uh, I got around to implementing it in the actual script so now you, the, it can copy both the primary and the secondary subtitle and also the primary subtitle in the ASS format um, so uh, so yeah I basically added new features to the script so if you have the older version probably you could probably update it to this one because um, uh, it has these new features so um, so yeah that's the updates uh, but now let's go ahead and take a look at what it does um, now very simple I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and open the uh, video let me actually also set uh, sub ID to English because there's a several subtitles for this video and I just want the English one for now uh, or uh, all right it should be okay it should be s lang not sid sid is the number um s lang equals en <clears throat> okay open data explain simply so uh here's our example video so now if i press um let me see what the key bindings are. I tend to forget them uh, after I uh, don't use the script uh, for a while. Basically, Control C for the primary subtitle, 
Control Alt C for the secondary, and Control Shift C. That's the capital C, which the same is the same as Shift C for the ASS format. I don't have any ASS subtitles here, so I'm not going to demonstrate that. But uh, for the primary, it's basically Control C, and then it shows this little message here to let you know uh, what happened. And uh, now, if I just uh, press, uh, like, if I just open, let me just open the text editor here. So if I paste it here, and, uh, I have that subtitle line. So we can also set another subtitle. Like for example, here is a Swedish, uh, or not Swedish, but Danish. So we have the Danish subtitle over here. So I can press, what was it again? Control Alt C. And secondary subtitle uh, has also been copied. Uh, and uh, there we go. So uh, you can copy from both the primary and uh, the secondary subtitle uh, tracks uh, by using this script. So that's that. Um, now, yeah, that's pretty much what it does. So uh, it has a few options here that you can set, uh, but you can look at that yourself. They're pretty self-explanatory and uh, uh, yeah, basically that's it for for this script. So now let's move on to the copy timestamp. This one is very similar. Uh, it copies the current timestamp either in. Um, so it has like these two key bindings named copy timestamp for timestamp formatted and copy timestamp raw. So formatted will. Um, copy it in just like hours, minutes, seconds, milliseconds format and the raw one is just seconds with milliseconds. I'll show it in a second. But like also if you use the... Uh, I basically used to have two separate scripts for this, like I used to have one for just like the the formatted version like with the hours, minutes, second, hours, minutes seconds and milliseconds and for time and seconds, I had like a separate script. So I joined them into one script now. Uh, so that's the change from the previous version. Um, where am I? Here we, are. we go. Okay. So, um, so yeah, the key bindings, the default ones are Alt X and Alt Shift X. So let's try that out. Um, Open data, explain simply. So if I press Alt X, it copies uh, the timestamp in this format, and um, Alt Shift X copies it in the in uh, in the format with just with just seconds and milliseconds. So. And that's that. So basically, this is what this script does. Um, uh, just like one little side note, um, uh, there's another script that also copies stuff to clipboard, that, but I'll cover it in a separate video because it's a bit more kind of, uh, there's more to it. But basically, this AB loop to EDL segment dot Lua script also has this xclip dependency. What, uh, like just to briefly explain an EDL file it's a text file where you can actually edit videos right in MPV player you can create a text file and it will like concatenate ranges from different files in a specific way that you want and you can pretty much like use MPV uh, as like uh, as a video editor <laughs> like I mean it's it's somewhat limited in its functionality but uh, it's kind of also good because it's only a text file so this is kind of an interesting thing that MPV player can do and we'll talk about it in a separate video but um, for right now let's just focus on these scripts now the third script uh, is copy file name dot Lua again pretty self-explanatory it can copy either the base name of the file which is just the file name plus its extension uh, then uh, it can copy the relative path to the file and the absolute path. So let's take a look at what that does. So the key bindings are Control Z, Control Alt Z, and Control Shift Z. Uh, okay, I already have the video open, so um, 
Control Z copies the base name of the file to clipboard, which is just this, uh, just the name of the file. Then uh, Control, what was it again? Control Alt Z. Control Alt Z copies the relative path. Here we go, the relative path. So I opened uh, like my terminal is in uh, this Wikimedia directory, and then I opened the file in the open data session such folder, and then the file name. So that's what it copied the relative path. Uh, and now finally the absolute path uh, I believe it was control shift Z yep and uh, that copies the absolute path so the complete path from starting from the root uh, directory all the way to the file so so this pretty much covers the functionality of all of these scripts um, in the next video, we're, we're going to continue talking about the um, the other scripts in this uh, in this repo. But uh, for this one, I hope you found this uh, useful and valuable, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.